Look at how long Ruby's strides are. Yeah. Look how much space between her. Gabby can't even do it. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. It's a cold one. It's officially winter. Holy cow, it's cold. The snow is like at least three inches deep. Last year we got snow in October and then it went away and didn't come back until January, really. Here it is, November. We are deep in it. Oh, am I gonna get to feed this? Okay, go let her feed her own horse. That's the way we roll in this family. We are kind to one another. No, you feed my horse. No, we'll get Right, Stella. Nobody wants to feed you, my sweet girl. You need a brush and a hoof pick before you go out today. There you go. Look at you. Oh my goodness, look at the dirt. Yeah, so last Good night, inside. where is it? Where yes. is it? I want you. So last night we had an injury. Yeah. His very first injury, oh, was up high? No, I'm lifting it up so you can see his legs. Where do you, do you guys see it? There's the blood stain. Yeah, I thought that was blood. And he's like, over here. You can't really see You can't see it. see it, it's somewhere. So, there. last night, tell them what happened. Go on. Oh, he broke this too. Well, he bent. So tell them what happened. So, last night, uh, Storm stall guard was open and Dad was dumb enough to not give him grain. Um, and then he let Stella walk in, get her grain. But Storm didn't have grain. He was the only horse who didn't have grain. Oh, dumb Because Dad said, you can do that. So I always want to, but I was busy putting the saddle cover oh. on my saddle. So Dad well, was waiting. Out. Dad was waiting for you no, to give your horse no. grain. No, he said I could do that whenever I want. Like, I was like, hmm. We should go feed him. So it's technically dad's fault because he's like, Okay, we're not gonna blame anybody. We are not a blaming family. And then, so he was the only one who didn't have grain. Stella's walking in to get her grain, then had his grain. The ponies were about to get their grain. So Storm was mad. That Stella and Finn were gonna have grain. And Stella grain went walking by at Stella. Over the stall guard. Over the stall guard and it just broke and he got cut. No, that was his fault because he stepped on himself. Yeah, so he that would like be hard. He Can hurt himself. That? So yeah, so Storm. So he bent this. But it's Bre Dad's fault because he didn't give my horse grain. Yeah, well, I'm not a fault so finding said, kind of person. You can do your own horse because normally. Because normally, if we try and take care of Gabby's horse, crazy things happen. You guys, she gets so mad. She wants to take care of her own horse. <laughs> oh no. Hendrix knows how to get water. He's standing on water. Ruby's like, what's happening? You guys, in the morning when Ruby comes running down, she stands and waits at the barn door because she's only coming to see her friend. Hi. Just wait until he comes out. Is that one not plugged in? That one's plugged in. That one's warm. Hendrix, there's a whole bucket of warm water. Look at how patient Ruby is. So uh, last night Sam I closed this door part way because he wants Gracie to get used to the idea that um, he wants Gracie to get used to the idea that she's going to be locked in soon in winter time when it gets like crazy bad. Mom, it's broken. I, I want to run and you take the big piece of ice out. No. Grace is freaking out. As one way to get your frustrations out in the morning. So, you guys should know a couple of things. One, the ground is frozen and it's covered in snow. So when we move our horses to the new barn in just, in just a couple of weeks, the ground will be solid. They won't be walking in a bunch of mud. So that's good. And two, uh, Gracie's gonna get in a stall. And she might not love it at first, but with all things that you want your horse to do, you need to give them time to get used to it. And uh, yeah, so Gracie we're gonna... Like, what the heck? And the reason we're gonna do that is because I think Willow really likes her stall. And so I think 
Gracie doesn't want to be out here by herself. So, Gracie, you're going to have a stall soon. She's like, no, not me. Not me! <laughs> oh, gosh. Why is she so spooky? Why are you so spooky? It's because I'm cracking the house. I don't want to drink, but... Are they shaky, shivering? Yeah, they are. Willow, very bad. Willow's shivering. I'm gonna have to talk to Fiona. I might have to go and buy her a blanket. I don't, I don't understand why. She definitely does not have as big of a coat as she had last year when we got her. She had a really heavy coat. She does have an okay coat though, but she's shivering. I'm gonna have to get her warm. She could be scared, but I've never seen her do that before. Is she warm? Hot. I'm I'll have to talk to Fiona. So, uh, first thing in the morning, what we do is we come down, check on everybody. Oh, I clean. I clean the. I clean the poop from the arena. We let all the horses out, feed them hay, and then uh, go up and do our chores and our school. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Oh my gosh. It had to have happened at the same time. No, this morning. <gasps> oh, it's huge. No, this morning because. How? I would have seen it oh this morning. Oh my God. Storm. I would have seen it when I walked in. I take a picture, I don't have my phone down here. Oh. I feel stressed when our horses are hurt. How could he have hurt? How? How could that have happened? Probably on these things. Yeah, take them out of here. Well, I can't. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to. No. Bring Finn in. Finn was excited. Literally, it's the same as last winter. Like, Storm has a thing about hurting himself in the winter. So, I don't know. He. It just makes me want to throw up thinking of that hole in his head. I'm looking for my phone. You guys know how sometimes, uh-oh. You guys know how sometimes a lot of bad things happen? Yeah, like it's just been like the last couple of days, bad things, oh man. So we have found blood, Gabby found it first, so it could be from these things. I don't know what, so these things, Gabby's taking them out. They were left over when I gotta film the vet right now. Storm. I'm gonna give him some butte. <gasps> oh my gosh. So yeah, it's itchy. It's itchy. Oh, okay, so let's clean him up. Seriously, I like when somebody that you love or somebody that's like an animal or, or a child gets hurt, it just really stresses me out. Like I'm shaking. Like it's just horrible. I I'm so can't look at it. One. Gabby, look at me. I'm shaking. Yeah, I'm shaking too, so you get it for me. And were you shaking about this cut? No. No, she's so, shaking about the cut. getting deeper. That showed a picture. He said that he had wounds heal really quickly, really easily. It's not as bad as it looks. Clean it and put him outside where it's nice and cold and he'll be okay. So call him if there's any other problem, obviously. But yeah, so we're going to do that. He said clip the hair out of the way too, so it's not in there. Oh. Head between my knees, guys. This is a whole other side that you guys have never seen <laughs> from me before. Yeah. What, you think they've seen it before? Yeah? Okay, so like, oh, for real. Like, I have like, I feel so bad for people sometimes that I like suffer, <laughs> suffer with them. One time when Nick was a baby, like little, he got sti uh, stitches in his head three times and, um, Every time we'd go to the hospital and he'd have to get stitches, I'd get the flu. I'd like be laying on the floor, sweating, sick to my stomach, throwing up, and I always thought it was the flu, but it, no, it's not. It's just that I feel so bad. So we're gonna take care of that, and then, gosh. Thank the Lord, we have everything we need. And one of our friends is a vet. I have, I have friends that are vets as well. What's tough one to the rescue? They've got everything I need in here.
They also have sterile water in here. I'm gonna go make some stressful snow angels. You're gonna make some stressful snow angels? I found out what I was doing wrong. I'm supposed to lay on my back. <laughs> yes! How did you not know that? But I'm glad you got your coat. Can you use this? Oh, wait, your hand. Oh, yeah. storm. Why? Ew, ew. Yeah, I'm wiping out the scissors on this. Don't wipe the scissors on his blanket. That bl blood will be there forever. Okay, here. Pour Would this. You rather it be on pour my this. Phone? This um, sterile water onto those sponges. Actually, here. you could even put the water into his cut to flush it. Let's flush it. You want to put this stuff in My there? This is really good. Yeah, I mean, Look, he doesn't care. He hurts sick. him, but he doesn't care. Literally, because he trusts you, Gabby. He knows you're helping him, and it hurts. Sometimes when animals are in pain, Daddy, they seek okay. out comfort it? from us. So we just we squirt move? it in there. Yeah, don't squirt it on the hay. So just pour it all in? Yeah, no, just squish a little in there and just flush it. Snow. Wait till I show dad. Dad's gonna freak out. Dad freaks out too. We are the he only got reason it this morning though because I would have seen it. You got it after I gave him his grain. How? Because I would have seen all the blood. No, you I miss it all the time. The people at our last barn brought him in, blood pouring down his leg and put him in his stall. Outside they brought, him, brought him in with a bunch of blood. Doesn't matter. Outside I'm starving. I'm starving too, so mm -hmm. let's hurry up. We feel bad for you, Storm, but our needs come first. No, just joking. <laughs> Thank you again, tough one, for all the stuff that you sent us. Everything that you sent us has come in handy so many times. Oh, I'm so grateful. Like, you have no idea. For dressing a wound, everything you would need is in this first aid kit. This is not a sponsored video, you guys. I just really appreciate it. Like, I've seen first aid kits, a lot of them. That one is really well packed. Like, it's a good start for us like obviously you're going to want to add medication and stuff to a uh, first aid kit but as a standard issued first aid kit that one is amazing this is the blanket that i have been making for sophia i have a lot more squares ready to go i am running out of white wool again and i might need to buy a couple more rolls to finish this blanket but i love it absolutely love it it's probably not going to be huge i'm probably already 300 dollars in on this blanket and it's not even done. Over in this corner, I have Gabby's uh, bridle. No, Gabby's girth. This is one that she's been loving to use. It's her Devaku one, and it is getting oiled. Over in this corner, I'm folding laundry. And over in this corner, there's Sophie's knitting. So Sophie's practicing knitting still. She's working hard. I'm not practicing. I'm just. She's just knitting. I'm just knitting. Yeah, it's super important to have other skills than just math and language, right? I'm finished. This corner, Gabby's still working on her work. Same it is after Sophia. one. Yeah, same with Sophia. You put the phone down. Um, Basically, it is one o'clock and it's time to go out there and feed the horses now. Um, I wanna check on Storm's head. Life is getting hard. It's getting hard, holy cow. Everything's frozen. We came down to do chores, which is great. Except for my hands are already cold. It's like, nobody wants to work and be uncomfortable. Are you warm? My hands are. Your hands are warm? Yeah, because we got those warm things. I have things. dollar store gloves. I only wear dollar store gloves because I don't like any other gloves. And then, 
they look brand new almost and I've worn them all of last year too. They're just a bit dirty. <laughs> so Gabby only Gabby only likes thin gloves. Just like thin, thin warm dollar store. Warm gloves. gloves. She only likes the gloves that you get at the dollar store. And they've lasted her for two years, those gloves. And <laughs> you like what you like, and that is okay. And Sophie, of course, is finding anything she can find in the in the environment to eat. This is this was <laughs> Where did you catch it? It looks like a horse horn. Oh, it looks like a unicorn horn. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like. Totally looks like a unicorn horn. Oh my gosh. Be careful. We don't not we don't need any other cut horses or thick. cut people. Yeah, super thick. Storm's out there eating his hay. No blood, so I'm assuming that he's healing up. Ruby? Ruby bit this. Ruby! Ruby. Wait, Ruby, come here. No. Well, it's Ruby approved. <laughs> Now everybody wants to know if you're going to eat it. <laughs> no. I was outside and I was dumping poop and I had my back to the boys. And Finn nickered. I was like, oh, he's saying hi to me. It always breaks. It always like makes me feel so good when he nickers at me. I look over and Stella was outside. Gabby okay, brought, her brought her out to turn her around. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's cold, right, Stella? She's like, what's happening? Come on, I'm not a play toy. Just leave me with my girls, she says. I'm waiting for it to happen. What? Grace is the only one in the field. And? She's kind of her sound, but she doesn't call it. She's right there. But she doesn't know that she's alone yet. Everything in the winter is harder because Poop is heavier. Everything's frozen. She's like, help! They left me! <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just gonna <laughs> nay and run around. Are you gonna run like a crazy girl now? She heard you. She's like, where are they? <laughs> oh no! Where's Willow? Where's Stella? They both love Stella. Yeah, she's right there. Can you see her? Mom, you want to come on a trail with me today? Yeah, I'll go for a walk around the property with you. I will too. All right, with Stella. Up. She's like, yeah, maybe we'll do some trotting today, and then she lunges her, and that's, and then she says, and that's why we're not trotting or er, cantering today. I said I'd see. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, she thinks you're food. She's like, <laughs> it's not food. Over the course of the summer, I guess since the spring, you guys might not know, but I've noticed such a massive changes in our two mares. Gracie, not as much yet, because there hasn't been enough time. But this girl is like, look at her. She will come right up to us. She touches us. She cuddles us. She looks to us. Gracie. <laughs> no, this horse never used to. Remember, she always used to run off. She used to. She was never this affectionate. She has changed a huge, massive, massive amount. She, she's gotten to be a, such a, an amazing. She interacts with us now you guys and it's not just about treats even though she loves them she interacts with us and she looks at us before she didn't even really look at us but she'll get there i know you'll get there should these horses be running around while you're riding 
Right, you better behave. Second's gonna come bug you. I have let Gabby come down here and ride Storm. I, I like to be here while she rides Stella. Most of the time, I'm here when the girls ride. Gabby and Stella. I love them together because Stella loves Gabby. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.